Hi guys, my name is TJ Ho and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can be updated with anything under the sun about the world of patentry. So for today's video, we shall continue with the part 2 of the tidbits of our Queen's journey to Miss Universe. Mary Jean Lastimosa, Miss Universe Top 10 Finalist. MJ was another controversial Miss Universe Philippines. She has joined Binibining Pilipinas three times before she was able to get the crown and represent the Philippines in the international stage. This was the time when the whole pageant fans in the Philippines rallied in social media and bashed Binibining Pilipinas. As according to them, MJ has the worst national costume and evening gown created by Baraza. In one of her interviews, she had mentioned that she was totally clueless with the designs of her national costume and evening gown until it was delivered to her few days before the preliminary. On top of that, the gown was ill-fitting and has affected her performance as well. In one occasion, during the candidate's rehearsal for the finale, she was seen wearing the famous pink gown by Almodal. But there were gossips that Mrs. Araneta allegedly stopped her from wearing it. Come finals night, MJ still wore the white gown and still performed in the best way she can. However, her journey stops after her top 10 inclusion. Pia Wojtbeck, Miss Universe 2015. Pia, as they say, has the most controversial crowning moment in the history of Miss Universe, as Steve Harvey have wrongly announced the winner, which has created chaos between the Philippines and Colombia. Pia, like MJ, has joined Binibining Pilipinas three times before finally getting the crown. She was another most bashed Miss Universe Philippines, as during her Binibining Pilipinas 2015 journey, she was at her heaviest. Plus, who would ever forget her tweet during Pacquiao's boxing defeat that year, which has caught so much attention from haters and has resulted to countless bashing. This has not stopped Pia from aiming her goals. Before she flew to US for the pageant, she has transformed so well and was indeed very Miss Universe ready. It was during this time that Mrs. Araneta finally allowed a Philippine delegate to wear a national costume and evening gown made by a Filipino designer. In one interview, P.S. revealed that her supposed evening gown provided by Binibining Pilipinas was color black. However, when she received and fitted the gown, it turned out to be too short. She did ask permission to Madame to wear a color blue gown instead and was allowed only if she will promise to finally get the crown for the Philippines. Pia's performance in the swimsuit round was eye-catching, while her famous smize was showcased during the evening gown round. She aced her Q&As in both top 5 and top 3, and has finally get the third crown for the Philippines. Maxine Medina, Miss Universe 2016 Top 6 after her Binibining Pilipinas crowning, it was the start of bashing and pressure for Maxine as the whole nation clamors for a back-to-back. -back. And at the same time, the pageant will be held in the Philippines after 22 long years. It was not an easy journey for her, as she was always criticized by the netizens with her unimpressive communication skills. Come preliminary, Maxine has shown a very classy performance during the evening gown round with her green tassel gown, which is something unlikely to be worn in a pageant competition. It was a totally opposite effect during the swimsuit round as she has executed a very bubbly performance with her Sailor Montreal. During her Q&A at the top 6, Maxine was provided with an interpreter which has translated the question in Tagalog. However, she has opted to still answer in English. She was able to answer the question, but not enough to push through to the next round of the competition. Rachel Peters, Miss Universe 2017 Top 10 Finalist During her time in Binibining Pilipinas, 
Rachel was one of the favorites to win one of the crown. She was another crossover beauty from being a runner-up in Miss World Philippines to Miss Universe Philippines in Binibining, Pilipinas. The whole nation got high hopes for Rachel as she seems to be the total package the universe is looking for. Beauty of face, sexy body, and good communication skills. Rachel was always in the top 5 hot picks from different pageant pages everywhere and was even at the top of the live voting during the finals. She was able to get into top 16 via wild card. Though she has shown an exemplary performance during the swimsuit round, it was the opposite of the evening gown, which may be the reason why she didn't make it to the next cup. Many were saying that she lacks aura when it was her turn to walk on the ramp. Before the finals night, her supposed evening gown leaked all over social media and has caused her disappointment together with her whole team. Another issue that was thrown to her was about her video presentation in the finals, which has showcased her life in the island instead of an advocacy that was a trend at the time and believed to be a plus factor in getting the crown. So there you go guys, thank you for watching, please watch out for the final part of this vlog, bye bye!